Thank you. Good morning, everyone. OK, uh, I just want to read from uh, Proverbs. Today is the last uh, day of the month, um, January 31. And I just want to read from um, Proverbs 31. And these are the words of King Lemuel, as uh, the, the introduction goes, and uh, which his mother taught him. Right. So the Proverbs 31 about the you know, Proverbs 31 woman or the virtuous wife is actually um, information shared, a wisdom shared by Lemuel's mother with Lemuel. So, so the thing is, uh, this it just starts by saying, you know, what what my son, uh, son of my womb, son of my wives, do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes intoxicating drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the justice of all the afflicted, and so on. Then it goes on to verse 9, open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. So here's a person in leadership, here's a person who is a, as a king, and, um, and the instruction and the uh, wisdom that is shared is this, you know, you judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy. And these are some things that are going to compromise with your strength and with that ability that you need to have in order to judge righteous, righteously and to plead the cause of the poor and needy. And this is going to distort your wisdom, distort your judgment. So you need, you cannot, you know, it's like giving away your strength when you indulge in these things. I just list a couple of things here, but you know, uh, we know that there could be many other things where which really, you know, distort our sense of judgment, right? And in and in a way, take away our strength to judge righteously, take away the, our strength and fervor to speak up for those who do not have a voice, and uh, take away that sense of compassion and God's heart for the poor and needy, right? So, so, well. That's the um, that's a warning and uh, and also the exhortation uh, that we see in Proverbs thirty one, right? So let's pray and um, yeah, let's just ask the Lord to uh, you know uh, to really protect that we would also you know take time to protect or keep ourselves um, in that place of strength, right? Let's pray, Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for these words of. Uh, uh, inspiration, exhortation, and also God, um, your word, which clear, very clearly warns us, God, that um, here are some things that really take away our strength, take away our ability, and compromise on what we actually are called to do as people of uh, influence. Lord, we we pray, Father God, that um, that today, oh God, that it'll be a it'll be a wake up call for some of us, God. It'll be. A, Lord, it'll be a stirring up in some of us that we would take our place and uh, which you've given us, God, to take the place of uh, influence and, and where you've placed us, God, that, that it'll be, Lord, from a place of strength, God, that we will not compromise on anything. We will not indulge in anything that will take away that, that position of strength, God, that dilutes that, God. And Master, we pray that you'll enable us to really, Lord, walk worthy of the call with which you have called us and to fulfill the plans and purposes that you have for us, God. We thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so um, today I just wanted to um, uh, just... Uh, talk to us a little bit about the methodology you know all of us have uh, all of you have uh, 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 have given the most of you um, and some of you are you know I just you've given it and you're not very sure yet I'll just finish that today um, but most of you have given the topics and um, you're clear about what you need to do so uh, I just want to talk about uh, the methodology right what is the methodology that you're going to uh, uh, take up uh, in order to carry out your research, okay. So that is something that we uh, you need to be sure of, or you need to be um, you know you know, give uh, um, you know uh, thought to you know, what is the methodology? How am I going to do this? Right. So you've given your 
uh, the methodology would or uh, the way you go about your research would depend on your topic okay um which uh, some of it some of this topic is very what i would say you know you need to find out the data is out there right the information is out there uh when i say out there okay it could be in the form of books articles uh maybe uh maybe something that you can find online in a public library a newspaper whatever the information is out there you need to get that information and collate that information right some of it is uh, qualitative information in the sense you need to actually find out by way of let's say uh, for example i'm just saying you know there was a topic on burnout among christian leaders right yeah, among pastors and christian leaders i think that was the topic yeah so um, you need to actually find out okay now we cannot make an assumption okay now what is an assumption you know this is what i feel it is you know this is what i sense i've been getting a lot of you know i've been hearing this person saying that i've heard this message uh, this sermon so uh, so it must be you know uh, i'm just making an assumption of all that you know, but your research is actually very specific right it could be specific to a group of people it could be specific to a particular area right um, and uh, you know maybe uh, i saw some topics like unreached people in in certain areas um, uh, yeah so the, the thing is that uh, you need to be a little more specific you need to validate on uh, data right so it would require for some it would require maybe this particular topic for example if we take it burnout on um, you know, christian leaders yes you can you know uh, get it from the article and, and so on but in your personal research right uh, if, if it is let's say a church or a group of churches in a particular area and uh, and you want or a group of pastors in this particular city then you would need to you know interact and find out and talk to them uh, and get real data right get real information on you know what is it that actually caused you to burn out right what and what do you sense is uh, uh, you know it'll cause cause a spiritual burnout in people and maybe you can you know you can look into the word you know did people burn out halfway yeah there are a couple of examples in in the new testament as well right one who they just uh, halfway through they just went back so we we see those examples so uh, you know you can share that also and also you know so so your methodology the research me methodology is very important right and so that is why uh, i just kept reiterating that your title needs to be specific because your title uh, uh, the research title is actually um, going to give you the scope of research and the scope of research meaning you know how big is it it is how wide it is uh, will also determine the methodology that you're going to use okay so um, let's say uh, you know some of it is very uh, what i would say is very academic in the sense you would find information in a, in a library and uh, you would need to go through read through and come with your conclusion right um, so and come with your you know the pattern that you see in all these articles that you've read and so on so so which is which is fine some of it is academic some of it you need to you know find get information talk to people get information so um when it comes to that you can probably use questionnaires uh, which could be printed people actually you know maybe have to just tick their responses depends on what kind of information that you're getting or it could be a telephone conversation or it could be an interview with you know interviews with people various kind of people and you record it right so this has to be uh presented as well you know if you're doing um uh, if, if you're maybe interviewing people and you and this statistics this information that you're putting together in a table that needs to be presented as well in order to form that conclusion right so um these are some things that you need to keep in mind okay uh when you're talking about uh, the research methodology so you now, even as i'm saying this you know may probably you're thinking you know like um 
you know, there's a topic called reach the unreached thing. I told Pratik, you know, you need to specify where, what, who are these people, um, and so on. So um, then, uh, what else? I'm just going through some. So Maxon had uh, actually put a, a topic called false prophets. Then again, I gave the feedback that Maxon needs to fine tune that topic and to make it uh, even more specific. You know, it's generally is it about false prophets or false prophets in a particular city or what you know so so that that would uh, give the scope you look into the world see who those pro false prophets are look outside into the church and see you know what is you know, what happened how do they start go and, and you know you have to do uh, so that would be the methodology uh, of for that particular topic okay um then what else do we have? Um, okay, so each of these topics, I see that you know you need to uh, get specific with your research work, right? Finding out information, um, citing what information. Citing meaning you know you're you're actually referencing it. You're in your research paper. When we get to that, you're actually making mention of it because it's not your original thought. You're actually mentioning that this is what I read, and this is the author, this is the book, etc. You're make, making mention of that. Um, but also, you need to present your original thoughts, your ideas on this, right? Any topic based on your reading, based on your uh, interviewing, based on your research. Um, based on your interactions you know what is the conclusion that you are coming to and you mentioned that you know this is what i feel based on this based on you know this information based on so and so you know this interaction this is the kind of um this is the conclusion that i'm i'm coming to right so um so original thought original recommendation um uh, that has to come from you know you in a sense if there is a problem and you're talking about the problem, let's say false prophets. Now, what is the antidote to that problem, right? Uh, and uh, it'll be good if your research would bring out that solution, you know. And uh, and a lot of it is that, you know, reaching the unreached, um, you know, unemployment. I see that I've been asked, unemployment and our responsibility as Christians. So, so it would have a solution, you know, to it at the end, right? It would have an antidote to it. This is how the problem can be solved. Okay. Uh, I see Chris's title also does alcohol have a place in the life of believers. So um, obviously, uh, you know, you present the thoughts, but also, you know, what to do uh, for people who are compromising, what to do, uh, you know, how can people who are stuck in it come out, you know, uh, you present that solution as well as a conclusion, right? Before you conclude, you present that solution as well. Um, okay. Yeah, so so you know, in the Google Sheet, once you refine the title, please mention the refined title, right? The changed one, right? Um, so, uh, uh, so Rupa, you know, you're home away from home. So I suggested uh, in the email what you could, uh, you know, some options to change, uh, you know, or add to the title so that it actually defines uh, the the kind of ministry, you know, the open home ministry. So you could mention that as well in the Google Sheet. Um, so we know, okay, this is the final title. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think that, that has not been done yet in the Google Sheet, right? So I'm talking about. Um, only for the online students. Uh, if you're a e-learning student, you would have to do that in the discussion section, right? Whatever we interact, whatever material you're putting out, the title, the the summary, everything is in the discussion page, and so I can actually go through it and respond to that. Okay, so um, the Google Sheet we're talking about only for the online students, right? Okay, any questions or doubts that we can talk about that we can uh, we can discuss right now so I have a question yes sir. I sent my question on my topic through your email and you replied that I can go ahead 
Yeah. So am I, am I supposed to update it on the Google Sheet or what? Is yes, please. Yeah. So the Google Sheet is what we are, you know, a, uh, the entire class. Uh, everybody has uh, put their title here, and they're going to be refining the title also. So I would suggest that about I see about twenty one titles right now. So so Alfred, you can also enter your title there, please. Yeah. Where yeah. should I find the Google Sheet? Okay, the Google Sheet in the classwork section. You know, if you go to the classwork section, classwork tab, yeah. um, you will see the lecture videos. You will see a um, list of topics. The first one would be list of topics, I guess. And um, so you click on that, and there's a Google Sheet there, and you can enter. Thank you, sir. Right. Uh, are you able to see that? Yeah, I'll do that. You'll do that. Okay. Okay. This is this is the place where all the videos are, the lecture videos are, mm. and also the the resources are. There are a couple of books. All I mean, the guidelines are there. Mm -hmm. You can always check that guidelines, and also there is a there is a small book on uh, writing research papers. Um, so it's that section, classwork section. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sri Kumar, you want to? Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to know that, sir, when we are calling the church, so we have to cover the all the denominations, or it is just to uh, we have to just to see that. Uh, whatever problem at this point of time we are facing, it's only a Pentecostal church. Uh, is it uh, like that? Or, or well, that uh, yeah, that depends on what your research is, uh, Shikma. Shikma, you put your title here. Huh? I'm just going through that. Uh, have you, you entered have in the? Email, huh? You are sending you. No, have you entered in the Google Sheet? I don't think it's entered here. Okay, then I will do that. Faster. So you can do that. Yeah. So I remember what you uh, think. So, so the thing is that you you define the scope. You know. If you want to do it uh, in, you know, a certain denomination, you do it. Uh, otherwise, um, you define the scope. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay. Okay. So Louis, um, email, and I've entered it in the Google. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Louis. Okay. Um, any questions? Any doubts? Um, or any ideas that you feel uh, might be helpful for the class in uh, in just starting the research work? Sir, when we have to start to write, uh, we have to start it. Yeah, you can you can start right away. Thank you. You can you can start right away. Yeah, yeah. Um, Uh, Pastor, are you going to go through a little more detail on the uh, this MLA format for the uh, you know for the for the report format? Uh, about the way I've actually put the um, the format uh, and the guideline has the format. What I will also do is uh, I'll put up a template. So then that's self-explanatory. I'll upload a template. Um, so you know you will know where to enter what, and you can use that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So what we'll do is next um, next class, which is next Tuesday, uh, we will not meet online, right? So you can just focus on doing the research work. Uh, we will not have our class, which is next Tuesday, and I'll put it on the stream as well, so you know that uh, you don't have to tune in. Uh, I'm talking about um, this is seventh of February. So seventh of seventh of February, we will not uh, um, we will not meet online. We'll meet the following um, Tuesday. So you can actually focus on doing the work and um, you know getting that information. So uh, please continue to do it every day. Uh, don't just keep it for you know the last few weeks or something. Uh, just do it every day. Um, and then you can you'll be able to finish it on time, right? Um, yeah. So um, yes, sir. You give us the template, or we 
you use your the school format or is there anything that we use or is there online um portal where we should be filling the information or we need just to write the paper and this for mm. it to you. the mm. other question is yeah. when is the first uh when do you expect the first submission like for you to go through before the final uh, report yeah so um see we will have uh, if you actually go through the uh video of the first video we went through the um uh, you remember we went through the uh, guidelines right so let me just uh, mention that um we went through the guidelines and we looked at uh, what needs to be done um okay um let me just try and share that just give me a minute please okay i can't uh Just one second, sorry. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Are you able to see the screen now? And uh, okay. So um, you can see that um, this the guideline. This is also in the classwork section. Alfred, so you can go through it. So it has a timeline. What, when each, uh, you know, each uh, submission has to be. Um, so from the next submission, we'll be a little more stringent. So if the submission is not on time, then we could lose marks. So, um, so I've mentioned that 27th of February is the next February, which is a Monday. That is the next submission. And it's a draft with the work status of work done. So, which is, uh, okay, this is what I've done. So these are the readings. This is the material collected. Or these are the interviews done. This is the questionnaire. So, whatever is the status, so you just submit a draft of it. And then the final draft of the research paper is presented on the 10th of April. This is actually the report itself. Right? So, uh, that is your first question. Second question about the format of the research report you know, this link here which gives you details of it you know what should be the font what should be the spacing how do you you know mention your margins and paragraphs and so on so that's the mla format so that is there in that link you could have checked it out uh, i will also upload a template so you can use the template on a word doc and uh, you can upload it like how you can you know we've uploaded on the uh, on the stream, you can just upload it. I, I'll probably create an assignment, and you can upload it directly there. All right? I hope that helps, Alfred. Um, Chris has a question. Chris. Oh, yes, uh, Pastor. I was just thinking that, uh, you know, in, in this research paper, mm -hmm. uh, there may be a need to do um, a short survey mm -hmm. uh, among a set of, you know, mm -hmm. people. Um, yeah. So is there something that, uh, you know, you would um, you would um, encourage? And um, again, I, I don't know, <laughs> for my topic, I'm not sure of that survey. I know it, it can be a bit intrusive. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in my field, uh, even if it is non, uh, uh, if it is confidential, and uh, you know uh, whether it uh, it is something that um, that can be done, um, and um, I guess the question is, um, or whether um, I mean not specifically for my my uh, topic only, but I mean, for 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 some of the other topics also, whether that survey can be in some way done, uh, you know, within APC Church, the, the members within APC Church. Uh, I'm not saying that everyone will do it. I mean, then, mm -hmm. service, but I'm just saying a few of them. Whether it makes sense to do it, and uh, whether it, it it should apply. 
Um, yeah, it, it really uh, it depends on what the nature of the research. Yeah, definitely survey, I think in some cases uh, are a necessity. And in your particular topic, it would really enhance uh, you know, uh, your case if you actually do a survey. Um, and the survey can be of people who are, you know, who have indulged in drinking or come out of it, whatever, you know, whatever you want to bring out through that survey. It'll really, it'll, it'll be helpful, I feel. Um, with regard to doing a survey within church, uh, well, you, if, if you are, if you want, I can, uh, you know, we can even give you a letter saying that you are a, a student and you're doing a, whichever, you know, wherever you want to do the survey, we can even give a letter saying that you, for this research purpose only, for the academic purpose, uh, that you're doing a survey on this particular topic. So kindly extend your cooperation, whatever. We can do that. But we'll also, you know, kind of uh, probably jointly go through the questionnaire of the survey. I mean, what uh, the nature of the survey. And then if need be, if you need a letter, um, we can provide one answer. That's, uh, that's fine. Not a problem. OK, so then maybe we could discuss this offline, uh, Pastor. And, uh, sure, sure. Yeah. You can email me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can email, and then we can discuss that. Yeah. Sure, sure. So, OK, thank yeah. you. OK. Yeah. Yes, Charles, you have a question. Uh, it's not a question, just uh, um, I'm also doing the identity crisis, and the, I am equally in that area. So uh, any help that would be given to Christoph, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, Charles. I'm not able to hear you very well. Can you? There seems to be some. There seems to be some disturbance. Can you hear me now? Um, I actually missed what you said earlier. But you can hear me now. Yes. Yeah, I, I was, I was uh, also requesting that um, I'm going to email you uh, my topic. Then uh, you also prepare me a, a document that I can present so that I can do a survey. That's what I wanted to request you. Yeah, so I will need to know uh, what is the nature of the survey. What are the, so I'll, I'll, I'll need to see the questionnaire. Uh, I and then I'll, that. yeah, sure. So once you send me that, I will go through that and then I can give you the letter, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, any other questions? Any other thoughts? You you just think about your topic, the nature of work, and any anything that comes to your mind on how to go about it. Um, you can ask, right? Okay, so uh, if there's uh, nothing more, then we will wind up now. We uh, we are not. Um, meeting next uh, um, next Tuesday, right? Um, I, I see Nisha's online. So Nisha, I, I have your your email ID and details. So probably after the class, um, sometime if, uh, you know, if you're not at work, or if you're listening, we can, you know, I can, we can talk about that. We got your topic as well. But we'll try and finish everything today. You know, we won't, we don't want to take it beyond this. I think we've already delayed this further. Uh, I'm just sharing this with everyone. Um, um, so with regards to the topic, let's let's not go beyond uh, January. Okay, uh, let's end it today. And uh, so our next interactions should not be about the topic. Okay, it should be about the methodology and anything else uh, regarding the. Uh, research work, right? Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll stop here. And um, Abhishek, yes, I I've seen that Abhishek. Um, yeah, I saw your email. Uh, and I I thought I responded to your email. I replied. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check. Okay. And please uh, upload the uh, you know update the Google Sheet as well. All those who got, uh, got my reply. Uh, please update the Google Sheet as well. Right. Okay, thank you. We'll we'll stop here, and um, I just want to uh, 
maybe we'll take a five minute break and uh, I'd like Abhinash, Siddhant, um, and then uh, Asha and Kun to stay back. Uh, Nisha, you can also stay back, please. And uh, we'll just very quickly, we just like to go through your topic, right? We'll take a five minute break and then I'll address the others. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Right. Right. Others, please, you can feel free to log out. Thanks. <laughs>